your journey, you know, played it in high school with Cyrus, freshman All-American, had a red shirt year, and then went to CSM and was an All-American there, and then reunited with Cyrus and made a big tackle this week. Just how you came to where you are today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been a long, long journey uh, getting here. Um, worth every second, though. Um, you know, started at University of Illinois, uh, played my, my true freshman year there. Um, then, after, you know, after some complications, left uh, my sophomore year um, and ended up, yeah, going back home to a junior college at San Mateo, which is just, um, you know, I have nothing but great things to say about that. It's run very similar to, um, to this program in terms of the way we focus on discipline in, in our culture. Um, and, you know, it was a perfect segue to, to get here, um, you know, at the at the top of the Pac-12 conference, um, you know, and one of the best what, one of the best defenses in the nation. So, um, and obviously, I went to high school with Cyrus. So, you know, reuniting with him is just it's a dream come true. We always wanted to play together. AJ Jacobs and Rivals. Ben, uh, I was taking a look at some of your clips from Illinois, and I, I and seeing you play now, I've seen so much improvement. Um, what areas do you think you've improved between then and now? Yeah, um, you know, I'm always working on all aspects um, of my game. Um, you know, I think, I think physicality is one thing um, that I've always had, but, I, you know, I continue to, to work on. But um, the, on the technical side of things, um, you know, I think you know, covering skills, man-to-man -man skills are something that I, um, you know, been working real, real hard at. Um, and then just, you know, diagnosing the, the offense, the offensive formation um, and, you know, what plays might come out of that. I've been really, you know, fo focusing on, you know, getting that, that step ahead. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. And when you signed to come here, Brady Breeze was supposed to be on the team. Javon Holland was supposed to be on the team. Uh, Nick Pickett and Ron McKinley weren't supposed to be missing first halves of games. Is it just been crazy how quickly you've been kind of, I don't want to say pushed into this, but that playing time has become available when it looked like that probably wouldn't be the case earlier on, at least. Yeah. Um, you know, those, those are all, all great guys that you mentioned. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely different. I mean, knowing coming into the season, I think we all knew that there was, you know, no guarantees in terms of who's going to be playing and who's not. And it's going to be, you know, uh, guys out, you know, one week um, and guys are going to have to keep stepping up. Um, so, in, you know, in that case, we didn't want to have, any drop offs at any position. And I think, um, you know, depth wise, um, all the way through, we're, we're, we do a pretty good job. Um, I'm always ready to play, um, you know, regardless if I, you know, I'm on the, the, you know, third on the depth chart or first, um, you know, you got to be ready and prepare yourself like you're, you're the starter. Um, so I think that's something that we all focus on doing in the DB room. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Ben, how much uh, had you played box safety uh, before this past weekend? I mean, how much you know, just work did you have at that previously? And uh, how have you felt playing the dime package? Because you guys have been really effective with it the past couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we want to get get our athletes on the field. Um, and I think dime, you know, gives us a great chance to do that. Um, I played some box safety at, at Illinois. Um, you know, not a ton at uh, San Mateo. I was, I was in the post a lot. Um, you know, but here it's it's a very versatile position, and I, I love playing it because you get to, you know, come on the blitz. Um, you get to, you know, you get to guard guys and then, um, you know, drop back in, in your zone and play, you know, a lot of that, the run stuff, run fit. Um, and that's something that I feel like I, you know, I do pretty well. So um, it's definitely a, a new defense for me and very fun, very fun to play in. Matt Preem, 247 Sports. You know, James kind of lead, lead it into that question for me. Just seem to be a physical player. Is that, is that allow you to, to be, you know, more physical and, you know, playing closer to the line of scrimmage? And is that where your comfort level is at? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I feel pretty comfortable playing uh, any position. But, you know, if I had to had to pick one, um, you know, I'd love, you know, sticking my nose in there and getting, getting physical, um, you know, with those guys. Um, and I think, you know, yeah, obviously Dime gives me a, a, a big chance to, to do that and be, you know, involved in the, in the play every time, as opposed to maybe being a, a, a post safety or, you know, strictly cover guy. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. Yeah, Ben, if you've prepared for Stanford and Washington State, now UCLA, how much 
How would you rate them compared to Washington State, their uh, passing game, and what's the biggest challenge for you personally? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Stanford to Washington State, that was a little bit of a difference, right, in that, in that game plan. Um, you know, UCLA is – we're going to get a, a good mix, um, you know, of, of run and pass. And um, they're, they're an explosive team, very explosive team. So um, – and they got a lot of playmakers. So we're going to have to, you know, uh, adjust to that. Um, the game plan, you know, we're, we always got to play our game and, you know, uh, as a defense, you know, be physical um, and, you know, follow our keys and, and we'll, we'll be in good shape. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not a drastic change um, as long as we, you know, are focusing on what we got to do. AJ Jacobson. The quarterback you're going to face this weekend is a dual threat guy. Um, what changes or what's the effect of, of that for a safety guy in your position? Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, it's another guy that you gotta, you gotta account for in that, in the run game. Um, especially, you know, running some, some read options and stuff. Um, he's a, you know, legitimate threat to, to run. And then with the scramble drill, I think that's the most, uh, where it shows up most, you know, when he gets out of the pocket, um, and gets to extend plays, you, you know, we gotta, we gotta be able to lock onto receivers and not give him that chance to, to throw the ball down the field while he creates, you know, creates plays with his feet. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Ben, you talked about your versatility playing multiple positions. Um, have you been playing all three of those safety slash, I guess, nickel position? Have you ex had experience both in practice and in the games there and, and comfort level if you're, you're called into duty? Because as we've seen, uh, there's been opportunity that was probably unexpected the last couple of games to, to play those different spots. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Coach Hayward has done a, a fantastic job, you know, getting not just me ready to play uh, every position, but, you know, everybody on the team. Um, and not giving us, you know, too much to handle at one time, but, um, you know, I guess just being, yeah, being able to to teach us all um, effectively how to play play each position. So personally, I, um, you know, started learning when I first got here the free safety um, and learned a little bit of boundary safety. And then, um, you know, we had some issues, came back, started learning the nickel um, really well, you know, as well as the dime position. So I feel comfortable playing. Um, every position, but I think that can be said for, for most of the guys in this room. Max Torres, Scoop Duck. Bennett, uh, through the first couple of weeks here, we've seen uh, the Oregon defense kind of be uh, lumped into that bend, don't break type of approach. Uh, with no turnovers through two games, how have you and the defensive back group kind of responded to, to that challenge? Uh, yeah, we definitely haven't, um, you know, turned the ball over, gotten as many turnovers as, as we want to as a defense. Um, that's something that we pride ourselves on. Um, but we certainly are getting discouraged, you know, by, by the lack of turnovers. We just have to, you know, focus on um, making more plays and finishing at the ball. Um, and certainly in practice, you know, this week we've been flying around, making all types of, uh, all types of plays and focusing on securing that ball. Um, and when we do get the ball, you know, trying to put it in the end zone and go go create offense. Bill Breaker. To follow up on Max's question, the turnovers is one thing, minus five to be. But the other thing is that I think in the entire Pac-12, I could be wrong on this, in terms of explosive plays allowed, Oregon is at the top of that. They've allowed the most. What has been the game plan from from Avalos, from Mario, and everyone else to to prevent that? I mean, you're 2-0, and oh, but other than that, yeah, um, yeah, and like you said, we are we're two and zero, um, so we, we're we're gonna find our way to to win those games. Um, you know, definitely a lot of things we we want to work on. Um, giving up, you know, explosive plays is one of those. Creating turnovers is another. Um, you know, and I think um, explosive plays is is a um, an emphasis for us. You know, working on. Um, Limiting those breakdowns, you know, in the in the defense, in the coverage, um, and just playing as, as you know as perfect of a game um, on defense as we possibly can. That's all we have for you, Ben. And appreciate your time. Awesome. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Have a good day.